think all storytelling is global. Visions is something that's starting in Japan, but it's now throughout the rest of the world. We're just sitting back, waiting to see what those interpretations look like inside different cultures. Animation takes us into a world that we can't necessarily explore in live action. I find that I just have a huge smile on my face every time I'm looking at what they're doing and how they're interpreting Star Wars. I have nothing but incredible feelings of Volume 1. It exceeded expectations. It really touched a huge segment of Star Wars fans, but also fans that were just anime fans, were just fans of these individual studios that came to check out the experience. Let's go! What was amazing about Star Wars Celebration was to finally be in a room with an audience that reacted so amazingly and connected with the stories was such a treat. Like, they love it, they love it. <laughs> Let's rock them! The success of Volume 1, it gave us the courage to keep going and seek out bold storytelling for Volume 2. What makes it so unique and authentic is that everyone has their history and is influenced by those stories just from growing up in a different country. We wanted to make sure that there are the known studios, but there's also who's really inspiring out there. Who are the new studios that are in this new, bold, global animation landscape? We went after studios that have a storytelling style of their own. Some were specialists at 2D, and some were 3D, and some were stop motion. One story feels completely different from the other story that feels really diverse, but the thing holding it together are really its, it's Star Wars themes and the core values of you know, what makes Star Wars, uh, Star Wars. We've allowed these artists to come into the Star Wars world without feeling any real limitations around what they're doing creatively. Something that many of these artists share are the strong values of aspirations and hopeful goals inside of the storytelling.